sucks out. My Vortex and I've got a, actually I've got a Surpass Hobby motor in this. And it's, it's not bad, except I'm having a little trouble with the throttle. I've got to get a decent setting on this remote. It's jacked up a little bit too high right now. Let's try this with this car. Oh, nice. Oh, and that just was a really soft landing too. Oh, God. That wasn't nice. The Vortex is a really nice flyer. Ooh, that was a bad one. I didn't clear the, I didn't clear it. All right, let's do it this time. This time's. Ooh. I braked a little early and I saved it. I saved it the last second. Some quick throttle work. <laughs> Things kind of all over the place. Shocks are a little stiff, but they're they're good when you when you land. Oh, I'm not gonna do it. Something's uh, a little squeaky in that car. So you do have to heat for the for the people riding their bikes. Nice. So you can corner a little harder with this car than you can with the with the Vortex. It it digs in better. It's it's a squat little thing. It's such a great car. I really need to uh, put a little less in the beginning on this. Uh, oh, yeah, it's just gonna roll. I don't have the automatic brake setting going on it. I could. You know, let me see if I can. Uh, That's all about. Idle up, sub trim. Oop, I didn't want to do that. Steering, yeah. No. Nope. Reverse. What's that? Steering weight, throttle rates at 100. Hmm. Nope. Okay, here we go. Now I'm in it. Part two, could we go from six to 39. Let's bring that down just a little bit to 50 to 84. All right, let's try that. That feels a little bit better. It's kind of weak though. telling you guys it is December 31st and it's so nice out right now why because the Sun is shining because we're not sitting under a blanket of clouds like we are mostly but when the Sun is allowed to shine guys it's a gorgeous day Ooh. see I didn't have any throttle right there and I know it's partly due to the motor but this thing is <laughs> I got I have my brakes on pretty hard. I probably should spend some time uh I should spend some time going through my cars and tuning the ESCs, making sure they're all 
you know, proper and where I want them. So I do a lot of motor swapping and all that sort of thing. And I, I don't do a lot of messing with the ESCs during that time. And, and I think you probably should. I, you know, I don't think you, maybe you should probably not assume that the, um, the settings for one motor will, will be good for the settings for another motor. You know, you might not be getting all you can get out of the motor if you leave the settings where they are. You know, that's kind of what I'm trying to say. And this is a great spot. I mean, it's a fun little spot. I don't want to say great, but there's a lot of things I don't even get into. You know, there's a lot of trails you could use your crawler on, and we don't really do that. We just spend time with these sorts of cars, with our with our bashers, because that's what's, I don't know, kind of exciting. But it's a hell of a lot more fun with somebody, and that's just true. And so, YouTubing is kind of like being with somebody, you know. Matter of fact, when I'm here with my buddy and I'm and I'm videotaping, I kind of feel like I'm <laughs> leaving him out, you know. So I usually only videotape when I'm by myself. Oh, oh, oh! Sorry, buddy. I do have a dirt skirt on this thing, so not a lot of junk gets inside to the electronics, which I really like. I gotta make sure I'm not gonna get in this guy's way. Oh, everybody's taking it. See, my brakes are a little hard. On, yeah, I need to ease them up. Because when I correct myself in the air, I usually overcorrect because it, it, um, it's not real subtle. <laughs> These tires, I love them. They're really great in this type of grass. They've got good tread on them. Ooh, I hope I've been pointing at my car when I've... But we'll see. I got a computer for Christmas, so we'll see <laughs> if uh, I can learn to do some editing. I'm not having any illusions that uh, that my channel will ever be popular at all. But, I mean, maybe if I started to see some action it might motivate me to take it a little more seriously you know but from what I understand it's kind of late in the game but there are ways to make money on YouTube it's just not gonna be through YouTube itself <laughs> if you're popular enough then you uh, then you can sell your space to places like NordVPN and uh, Bang good and whoever else will uh, pay for you, pay for advertising on your platform. That would be really nice, actually. But you know, I like doing what I do too. Professionally, I'm a painter, and uh, you can make really good money painting. Again, it all depends on how much you put yourself into it. And that's really going to be the deciding factor in anything that you do. But if you, if it's a passion of yours, then it won't be it won't be a hassle to put yourself into it because you'll want to do it anyway. And see, and that's kind of how I think that you know I I don't have any passions at all in life. Is is there anyone else out there that feels the same way? Just there's really no thing in your life. There's there's no drive, no passion. Ooh. Nothing that drive you know, gets you up out of bed and with a smile on your face. This thing loves little trails, man. It does. It eats these things up. Wonder how much battery life I've got left. 
I haven't been going too far. About 15 minutes. About 15 minutes. I'm going to have to go out today and get another uh, memory card. 32 gig, maybe 64. It depends. But I've got one for this phone. But I need to get one for my computer now. Maybe um, later on down the line I can justify getting a GoPro or something something like that. Uh, maybe some uh, you know FPV goggles and, and cameras for my cars at the very least, you know. Put that editing software to, to the test. Do, let's do this from this point of view. Come and add us. What do you say? Okay? Nice. <laughs> this thing, it just nails it. Oh, unless you do that. Sorry. I think I've about exhausted the topics for the day. Anyway, Kevin Talbot's right, guys. Find something you're passionate about and go for it. The guy is actually very smart for being somewhat young. He's very intuitive and he, he seems to know um, uh, what's right and what's wrong right off the bat and doesn't let a doesn't let a stuff cloud his judgment or his vision so you know I've, I've learned a little bit from him and I do respect him you know, he, he takes care of himself and he's very honest and um, that's part of why he's um, you know so um, popular because people are drawn to honesty they're drawn to somebody letting a little bit of themselves into their, uh, you know, out into the world. We all know something about Kevin Talbot, and and we think, you know, he's great. You know, he's a little bit loud and boisterous and all that, but, but maybe that's just part of the, the show. But whatever. He makes sense to me. So maybe I'll just end this when, uh, when the battery's worn out. When this thing's right there, you can hear the tires dig in. It sounds so cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just jumped my legs. Oh, that was not good. Something. I hit something over there. I should start watching my ascent on the on the hill because this wing is not going to last forever. Well, the wing will, but the the body around it it's going to rip off eventually. I bought one of those and put it on my granite, but there's no good way to mount it like there is to this thing, and you just have to you have to make do with the with the fasteners that you have and so I like the Vortex, I like it a lot. It's my first Arma car and it's my first professional um, RC, my first hobby grade RC. Well, yeah, that's true. My first brushless RC. But this kicked off uh, you know, <laughs> kind of a, a little, it, which is still going. I still have to stop myself. I've got a, um, so right now I've got this one. I've got the Sentin. 
I've got the Typhon. I've got the, uh, the, the granite, but I don't have the big rock and, or the vendetta, which they just added to this line. And, uh, and I don't have the, uh, that drift truck either, which is pretty cool. Uh, the infract, no, that's not, is it an infraction? Maybe it is. Anyway, uh, my buddy's got the big rock and I think that's a great truck actually. The thing's like a spider on the road. It, it's so, it just slinks along. The suspension on it works so well. Ooh, I gotta watch what I'm doing here. It's clouding up a little bit and the sun's gone behind the clouds. But when that thing's shining on you, man, oh, it feels so good. And really, <laughs> <laughs> I could have asked for a better year to get into these things. I just got into them last summer, and um, t this is the first winter, and it surely is, it hasn't been a winter at all. We've had a little bit of snow, and it's been cold, but, you know, I can't think of another year where it's been damn near January and having to be this nice out. You know, it used to be treacherous when I was a kid. In the 80s, the weather up here was pretty bad, and it and it frequently snowstormed. I and mean, there was, you know, I love this little turn right here. See, in my backyard track, which I don't have yet, but I want. There's a huge field behind my house, and I don't own the land. The development that. Um, development that I live in owns the land and it's just undeveloped and I don't know what they you know what plans they have for it but I could certainly put up a few of these ridges back there for a nice little track and um, I, I really don't think they would let me do it if I asked I, I feel like I just have to go ahead and do it <laughs> I don't know, this battery's got to be about toast. Ooh, landed right on that ridge. These kids down here are up to something. I don't know what, but... Just kind of hoping I'm aimed right on this thing. stop this video for now and maybe switch cars. I might go to the hobby shop today.